It's been six months since six Leland couples decided to purchase the Thompson House and transform it into a bed and breakfast. Tonight's the grand opening and what you'll find inside is truly a Delta treasure. Built in 1902 by J.W. Thompson, the house has been home to six families over the century. When Stephanie Patton and her partners acquired the building in February, they began its restoration. Lots of paint, uh, scraping, try to keep as many original um, attributes as we could. Millwork is original. I believe the floors are. Um, some of the light fixtures are original too, all the fireplaces. I had to put in new air and heat unit mm -hmm. and do a lot of uh, uh, cosmetic renovations. The renovations were complete in June and the Thompson House has already had guests from as far away as Australia to as close to home as Greenville. They've enjoyed the historic 12-foot ceilings and spacious rooms. The house is about 9,000 square feet, okay. uh, so it's got lots of event space uh, for weddings or parties or reunions. Uh, upstairs we have four bedrooms, they're huge. They each have their own private bath, private fireplace, flat screen TV, coffee maker, and when all the beds are full we can sleep about 14 people. Downstairs we have two beautiful sunrooms and that's where our guests end up uh, having their breakfast. We have a dining room that seats 12 but all our guests always go to the sunroom to enjoy their breakfast so they can look over the creek. And we have a, uh, a library, a dining room, and a parlor. Beyond the beauty of this historic home, Patton says it's about creating a draw for people so that they'll visit and they'll stay in the Delta. We invested in the Thompson House and renovated it and opened it as a bed and breakfast because we felt like people wanted to stay in Leland a little bit longer when they visited us. They always came to visit the Henson Museum and our fabulous Blues Museum and all the Blues murals and trail markers. They love the creek, but there was no place for them to stay overnight. And there's a lot more to do in Leland and in Washington County, so we want them to stay here a little bit longer. Reporting from the Thompson House in Leland, I'm Lucy Biggers.